Alright guys, welcome back. In this video we're going to be using our Pico Scope to test a cam crank correlation. And what that means is we're going to be looking at the cam sensor and the crank sensor together on the same screen. Uh, that's pretty handy if you have a suspicion that you may have a timing issue on your vehicle and this is a good way to verify that. Uh, this sensors or the sensors on this vehicle that we're going to be using are VRS style sensors, a variable reluctance sensor. Uh, they both generate an AC sine wave. We have videos on both of those, so be sure to look in the description below for those indep or independent uh, component tests there. I'm going to show you the hookup. We're going to get the scope fired up and show you how to do this. So we're going to go up here to the automotive tab. We're going to come down here to the advanced test menu. We're going to go to cam and crank sensors. It's going to open us up a web browser here. Now you're going to want to go down and read this. Uh, there is a couple different ways to, to do this test depending on the sensors. So we're going to hook channel A to our crankshaft sensor. We're going to hook channel B to our camshaft sensor. So we've got channel B over here. This cam sensor on this engine is easy to get to. It's right on top of the valve cover. We've gone ahead and back probed it. Now as mentioned in the uh, cam sensor, the inductive style cam sensor video, if you don't first get a signal on one of the wires, go ahead and switch to the other wire and see if your signal is out of there. One of these wires is going to be signal return, one of them is going to be return to ground. Now in this vehicle I'm hooked into the crankshaft sensor using the TA012 adapter that Pico makes. So you can just unplug the sensor. This is a jumper harness that's going to give us two banana jacks. I've got those leads right up here. You've got to be mindful of the belt. You definitely don't want to get your wires tangled up in the belt. And I've just gone ahead and probed one side of that crank signal. They're going to make a mirror image of each other. So uh, these here, not 100% necessary which one you grab unless you're comparing it to a known good. A lot of people like to use the main signal as opposed to the sub signal. And then I've got both of our grounds hooked to the battery negative. Here's a picture of that TA012 connector that we'll be using on this vehicle in case you're curious about that. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pop back to our scope. Got a sample waveform already there for us. We're going to go ahead and hit the space bar, get this rolling. I'm going to start the car up. I'm going to go ahead and stop that. I'm going to shut the car off. Now just be sure, if you are gathering this for a cam crank correlation comparison, we're going to go ahead and we're going to slow this down just a little bit. We're going to get a little bigger capture here. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and stop that there. All right, that's a fantastic looking waveform. A little bit of noise there on the cam signal. That's easy enough to clean up. We'll just add a little bit of filtering to that. That's way too much. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll get just a little bit of noise on that signal and we'll be, we'll be happy. There we go. That looks good now. What we can do is we can just take and zoom right in on this baby. And there we go. So we've captured it on a little bit longer time basis. So we can zoom out on that a little bit. We can see how the cam signal is in relationship to the crank signal. If you suspect you have a timing issue, this is the test you're going to want to use. So as I've mentioned in other videos, always save your waveforms. You never know when you're going to need them. We're going to select our vehicle. We're going to enter our channel notes. And then we're going to click Save and Share so we can add it to the Pico library. All right, guys, that's it. That's a pretty simple test to do. Uh, it's a very valuable test to do, particularly if you suspect there is a cam crank correlation problem. You know, for example, has the timing belt slipped? Has the timing chain slipped? You know what's going on there if you had this waveform if you have a, a known good waveform to compare your car to you can make a definitive answer make the call and never get your hands dirty <laughs> so that's it guys thanks for watching